I am gonna show you how to make your candle last as long as it possibly can. If you're like me, when your candle starts to look like this, you get really sad. But I have an amazing hack for you. It is a wax warmer for your candle wax. So basically what you wanna do is, it's not glamorous. You wanna dig out the wax from your former candle and you simply put it in to this candle wax burner. Wax burners are wonderful because at the very top, you see there's a, it plugs into the wall and it's basically a night light. So it plugs into the wall, but the light heats up this porcelain portion where you put the candle wax. And then your room smells like the candle. You wish you could keep burning, but the wick is either emitting too much smoke or it's just not staying lit. This is your lifesaver. So I'm gonna show you how to get the wax in here. And also, if you don't have any candles that are like at that point yet, you can also go online on Amazon or on any of your favorite candle websites and look for wax melts. They come in literally like little circles like this. They sell just their candle wax like that. And this is a much safer way to get that scent into your house. It should not look like this. I've just burned it way too long. I should have stopped when I first saw the black soot, uh, but I didn't. I think I was painting one day and I just didn't see anything else. Take this wax and we're going to put it into this portion of the wax burner and your candle will live on and on. The first way to do this is to put this in the freezer, let the wax kind of shrink a little bit. I'm gonna put it in the freezer for a few hours and then um, get in there with like a butter knife and then just scrape out the wax. And obviously you don't want the wick. So I'm gonna make a little hole around the wick and then pop the rest of the wax out. All right, so after the candle has been in the freezer for like maybe a few hours, let's come in here and start digging it out. I'm starting on the edges and just kind of getting that as I go. So I kind of made marks around the wick, if you can see that, so the, the wax will pop out without the wick. That's what I don't want to put in there. So I'm gonna dig that stuff out. You know what all this is? Is the times I didn't trim the wick. So good job, past Heather. That is why it's so important to trim your wicks before you light the candle, because if you don't, you're just gonna get a collection of all this stuff. And then we continue. And now I'm just working on getting all the black spots out. So this is awesome. My mom has had these in our house all throughout my childhood. I remember her putting candles in the freezer when they were done and then picking the wax out of them and then putting them in wax warmers and then our bathrooms and stuff would just smell amazing. So this is a really sweet tradition with your candles. Okay, so. The wick is completely dislodged. I'm going to gum around the wick and get the wax that I can. I can see why she did this all the time. It's satisfying. So here's the little wick. I'm just going to get what I can, trim the sides, and add that, and voila! There you go, baby. You got a beautiful way to let your candle live on. So then you take the wax you accumulated and you pop it on top of the little nightlight thingy. Let's go plug it in. Here it is in all her glory. She has started to melt the wax and the bathroom will smell amazing before long. Yay! I thought that I would get into talking a little bit more about like 
what are my favorite candles? Because maybe you're looking for a new scent um, and I have a couple of favorites. So my favorite candles, they start at $35. I would advise against paying anything under $35 for a candle because you're not gonna get a candle that emits enough fragrance and inexpensive candles like the ones you see on the shelves at Home Goods, they just don't last long. So I'm gonna tell you some of my very favorite candles. These all smell amazing. And I know scent is a very personal thing for every person, but if you're looking for new scents, you've come to the right place. First up, Seda France. This candle is one of my favorite scents. It's the best scent for summer. This is by Seda France and it's called French Tulip. It smells like you have a room full of fresh flowers. And I would know because my sister and I did the flowers at one of our sorority sisters' weddings back in college. We were both bridesmaids and we did the flowers, which is like, what were we thinking? But when I lit this candle, I was immediately transported back to when it was the night before her wedding and we had turned the air conditioning really low down in the house to keep all the flowers cold and it smelled just like this candle. We had flowers everywhere in our house and it smells just like this. It's the best scent for spring, summer. I can't get enough of it. And if you do get this, just know, open it from the bottom of the box. And this candle is 35. You're not gonna wanna pay anything under $35 for a candle. You wanna make sure whatever candle you get lasts. This is just a very simple, beautiful design and it has etching on the glass. It has a design, it has a chinoiserie toile design etched on the glass. So it's very minimalistic and I kind of really like that about it. Candles, if they're designer brand, they do the work even when they're not lit. Whenever I light any of the candles I'm about to talk about, I feel like they can be lit for hours and they hardly burn down at all. It's a slow burn and it's a really potent smell. So you really want to get your money's worth from your candles. So, Seda France, French Tulip number one. I also have the diffuser. So I also have extra <laughs> uh, diffuser oil. I just keep buying this. The French Tulip Seda France diffuser oil and you can renew it. You can keep pouring it into their beautiful glass container. It's very minimalist. Again, it's so pretty. And FYI, if you have a diffuser, I like to flip the reeds over once every two weeks. Like, don't let it go too long without flipping these because that's when you get more scent. It's the best scent ever. <laughs> and that just stays here in the studio. My next favorite candle is the Nest Bamboo. This is another amazing summer candle because it's light, airy, it smells like fresh linen, um, but it's the bamboo. And so I love nest fragrances. I actually, I also have this same scent in a diffuser. Spoiler, I love it. I love this scent. Sometimes when I love a scent, I get it in the candle and the diffuser just because it's, it's amazing. And I wanna fill my home with that scent. So nest bamboo. And also I've always loved the scent of bamboo. So that's probably why this is so special because oh, it's just the best. They also have an amazing holiday candle every year. Diptyque. This candle I have had for years. Diptyque candles last and last and last. This is the mimosa. It's really fruity and they also have a tuberose that is I love the tuberose. The uh, Diptyque tuberose smells a lot like the candle that I put in the candle warmer. I didn't know how to pronounce Diptyque for a long time. I thought it was Diptyque, <laughs> but it's Diptyque. So just a little fun candle pronunciation trivia for you there. What an amazing brand. This candle has lasted me for so long and I hope I have it forever because I love her. Next, and now we're getting into the winter candles. This is by Park Hill, and it is called Best Tree Ever. <laughs> what I love about this candle is that it comes in all different sizes, and what's also amazing about these candles is you can reuse the glass, and you could even use them as like a candle holder, and I love the tinier ones, especially for tabletop little tea lights. So beautiful. 
but this really does smell like a winter ski lodge. It's a great winter scent. I've always been allergic to Christmas trees, so in the winter time, I light this in the house and it makes me feel like, oh, there's Christmas here. There's evidence of Christmas. So it's a great, great candle. When I was little, my mom brought my sister and I to her favorite shop in Marietta, where we grew up, and she was like, okay girls, pick out your candle. Pick out your favorite scent. And it was a nice exercise in like finding something that we all enjoyed. You know, my mom basically said, we walked into this really fancy shop, I'll never forget it was the best day. She said, pick out your favorite scent. And then we're going to come together and decide on the scent we want our house to smell like. Mainly because she knew, and God bless her, this is before we knew what anxiety was and I was just told, you're a bad Christian, you're, you don't pray enough. But my mom was always trying to just help me feel at ease. Um, and she knew that if I had the scent of our house, whenever we traveled, I would feel less anxious about traveling. Because I hate to travel to this day. It's, it's one of my hardest things. So she said, pick out a scent. And she knew that whenever we would go to the beach, whenever we would go visit people, we would have that candle and it would make me think of home and it really worked. So it was so special to me. Even more than that, my mom still burns that candle to this day. And when we go to her house and visit, it's like, oh, it smells like childhood. It's the best. So that is what I would encourage you to do. Go find a scent that you really love bring it into your home and just keep buying that candle years and years. And then before you know it, you're going to have the smell of home just etched in your memory. So yes, I, these are my favorite candles, but really go find what you love, what makes you happiest, what makes you feel centered and just calm and bring that into your home. And let me know in the comments what your favorite candle is because I would love to know. I'm always in search of a great candle. If you remember from my last vlog, I put the match striker into the container where I keep all the other matches. And it's, I've done this for a while, especially if I have big matches that have big matchbooks and they're just so bulky. I just keep the striker in with the matches and it's so simple. Another thing I'm gonna do is show you a couple of new shipments that I've gotten in, including this dress. Oh my gosh. This is from Palm Beach Sandals. So um, the girl who co-owns this company is actually a fellow blogger and I love, I love everything she posts. And so we were chatting one day on the comments and she was like, I would love to send you a pair of these. And I was like, they're gorgeous, yes. I can see them through the tissue paper. They're so cute. Both sides of Palm Beach is her Instagram handle. <gasps> A special promo code, y'all. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so for $30 off the entire website, use Heather30. Thank you, Brittany. Oh my gosh, yay. Okay, and y'all are gonna love these. You ready? Gorgeous. Ah! I cannot wait to try them on. Oh my. Brittany, this is so sweet. <gasps> ah! So this dress is from Duffield Lane. And if you want to try this on in person, go see my friend Ginger Howard in Buckhead because she sells Duffield Lane. But, oh, the sleeves. And it has ruffles at the bottom. These sandals are absolutely to die for. Look how cute they are. So it's white and gold is the design that I went with. These sandals are just so darn cute with this dress. Ah! I really, everything Duffield Lane makes, I always love. So y'all have $30 off Palm Beach sandals. These shoes are so flattering because that pop of gold at the bottom is like, I guess it's elongating on the leg a little. So let me show you the other thing that uh, Duffield Lane sent over. So this is the other tunic top that Duffield Lane sent over. And the reason I'm trying it on with leggings though is because I want to show y'all these leggings. These are the Lululemon dupe 
leggings from Amazon. Caroline got these for me for Christmas, my sissy. They're really soft. I can honestly say they feel just like my Lululemons. I couldn't bring myself to pay $100 again for a pair of leggings. Caroline found these. Highly recommend these Amazon Lululemon dupe leggings. But let me try this dress on without leggings to show you how it looks. It's so cute. The scoopy detail on this side. I mean, this has got to be the cutest cover up. I love the shape of this and I love the design. It's a really sweet like coral and white tone. It's so happy. I mean, how cute are these sandals? Hello. I love the silhouette it gives. It's so cute and feminine. So all beautiful things, Duffield Lane is my favorite for anything easy and light. And if you wanna try Duffield Lane stuff on in person, check out my girl Ginger Howard selections in Atlanta. I know she carries Duffield Lane and everything's so soft. Everything is also always so true to size. That's another thing with this brand that I really appreciate about them. Everything is true to size and here I am again caught staring at these gorgeous sandals. And that about wraps up today's try on haul of new beauties. So cute. And y'all can get these for $30 off. So friends, what did we learn today? I think we learned a very important lesson that one must always trim her wicks before she lights her candle for a cleaner burn and longer candle life. into labor. My sister is having a baby. Today is for scheduled inducing and um, my mom and Caroline and I were on the phone on three-way and I was like, y'all, I did not sleep last night. I'm so excited. And mom said, oh, I didn't sleep either. And Caroline goes, I slept great. <laughs> I'm like, I'll take it. You needed to sleep great. Like, that's good. But oh my God. This is weird. My little sister's having a baby. Oh my gosh, my little sister's having a baby. I don't like seeing her in pain. She was having some Braxton Hicks contractions and I was like, oh, I don't like watching this. I don't like watching my little sister in pain. I've always been so protective of Caroline and so watching her have any pain is like, I don't like it. I'm gonna have a niece. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can go and be with her. Um, oh my gosh. Comment if you've ever experienced being in the room when someone gives birth. I would love to know your stories um, and I'd love to hear your advice on like how I can be there for her. Um, but I'll see you guys next week and we'll have a niece by then. Ah! Bye.